Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today's review is going to be the 4K iTunes edition of Ari Aster's film Midsummer. channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. You can also find me over Twitter and Instagram at MovieGuy365, as well as over at the Disney Magic Hour podcast. I will leave a link for that in the description. Okay, so Midsummer has been released officially. It is now just being released on standard Blu-ray edition, which is available in stores as of today. But a couple weeks ago, the 4K edition, which is only available on iTunes, was launched. And I wanted to do a quick review of it, my thoughts on the theatrical versus the director's cut, and if the 4K version is actually worth buying uh, as opposed to just your standard Blu-ray. Uh, the release in itself is kind of weird. It seems to be this is an exclusive 4K edition. Uh, no physical release as of yet, but rumors are circulating that we are getting a physical disc. I believe uh, Amazon Italy has a 4K physical disc ready to go in pre-order, so we may be seeing this in physical format at some point. But I did want to review the film as, as it stands right now. So the iTunes version does include the theatrical cut, which is the 4K edition that we receive. Uh, the extended edition, which is also included in the extras, is your standard HD. So my thoughts on both, both versions of the film are, uh, I, I saw this once in the theater and I once again watched it entirely in 4K, the theatrical cut and then the director's cut. A lot of time, <laughs> basically, uh, reviewing the film. I, I do feel that the director's cut does add a, quite a bit of just story to it, but I don't feel it's necessarily crucial. If you're a fan of the shorter version, I don't feel like you're inherently missing a whole lot. It does fill in a few little things here and there, but it's not a, I would say, a required addition to, to watch. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up at all is because I'm, I do want to compare the HD versus the 4K edition. Now, there will be minor spoilers here. I'm not going to spell everything out, but just be aware that there's a couple scenes in particular that I feel are good good comparisons and that need to be addressed. So, unfortunately, it falls into minor spo spoiler territory. Now, as far as the HD picture goes in the uh, director's cut, it's very nice, actually. It's very good. There's a fair amount of detail, uh, especially the scenes where they're in those little uh, buildings that are in the uh, compound area. That, that looked nice. There was a fair amount of detail there. It's a, a really overall good looking image. Now, where I feel it falters and where I feel that the 4K really shines are there's a couple scenes, mostly since this uh, movie takes place during the daytime. It's very bright at most times of this film, which adds to its you know overall just uniqueness as far as a thriller goes or a kind of, I would say, I wouldn't even say horror film, but it definitely is just very unsettling kind of a movie that it takes place mostly during the day. And it's it's those, but unfortunately I think that kind of works to the weakness of the overall image on the HD. Now the scenes in, I'm uh, talking about in particular are just your general outdoor scenes because everybody's wearing white. So they're, the, the white robes and, and mixed in with the daytime, I feel it gets overly saturated and just it, it just kind of washes out in the general HD version. Now things like nature or other you know scenery for the most part look great, but anytime that those robes are being worn by pretty much everybody throughout the movie, you, you notice it. And it, not so more, I mean, really the, the biggest, uh, I wouldn't say offender, but the biggest example of this is the scene at the, the, the cliffs where the two elders kind of jump. So everybody's standing around in this, looks like kind of a gorge kind of thing. And it's just, it's blinding white how that looks, on, at least as far as HD goes. It's just, it's very kind of almost a, a difficult to look at overall. But where I feel the 4K theatrical cut does, it makes it a more very pleasant just overall experience to see the, the whiteness of all the robes just looks very natural. The rock formations look great. It doesn't look, it's not burdened by a bright whiteness to it. It actually just looks very good. It looks more natural and just realistic in that, in that sense. It doesn't look like you have to wear your sunglasses to watch that scene in particular. But as the HD version, it's very bright. It's, it's really kind of just in your face bright. And you know, as I said, it's mostly just the, the white on white contrast. But in the 4K edition, looks great. Now, we'll talk a little bit more about the 4K. 
it looks great actually as far as overall experience goes. As I mentioned, nature looks great in the HD version, but it's more lush, green, vibrant in, in the 4K edition supporting Dolby Vision. It looks fantastic in my opinion. I think honestly there really isn't a comparison between the two if you go back and forth, which you can easily do uh, utilizing the iTunes uh, back and forth feature as far as like theatrical versus extended. You can find one spot in the movie and then find that exact same spot in the other version and you can compare very easy. But those are the, the main scenes for it. But like when you get to the near the end when you have the whole um, the June Queen, uh, see where's the May Queen, Mayor June Queen, and she's covered in those flowers. It's, it looks vibrant and lush in the 4K. It looks beautiful, very nice to look at overall. And it, and it does equally so as in the HD version, but the, you lose that fair amount of detail and the, H, the HDR slash Dolby Vision looks, uh, makes it look so much better in the 4K edition. So overall, I feel in my personal opinion, I would probably go back to the 4K Dolby Vision version a lot more, even though it is theatrical cut. The extended version, unfortunately, just suffers just from HD and the limits of that. But hopefully we'll get a, a, an actual physical copy of the 4K of both versions. That's my, my ultimate wish list. That way you have your cake and eat it too. But if you're, if you're interested in this movie in 4K and you don't want to wait for a physical copy, I would recommend getting it in the iTunes version. It actually really looks good. Dolby Vision is fantastic looking. And also, audio-wise, we're given a very nice Dolby Atmos track. And that is a powering track in of, in of itself. The Atmos is very active. It's not, it's not an aggressive track, except when it comes into those musical scores and cues. That's where that, that, that Atmos is really kicking. It's just, there's a lot going on as far as the sounds, especially those initial pre credit scenes. That will blow out your speakers in a sense, because it's, it's a very, and I think it's supposed to instill that, that dread, that, that just powerfulness of what's happening and what's about to happen as far as the movie goes. I would recommend Midsummer if, if you can get the 4K uh, digital version on iTunes. It's only available there. I believe Vudu only has the HD version of both films. So I, I, if you can, I would recommend checking it out, especially if you're a fan of the film, or you know, possibly wait for the, a physical release. As I mentioned, Amazon Italy does have this for pre-order, so hopefully we'll get some form of physical release. But I think the 4K is absolutely worth it alone. So let me know in the comments below if you plan to pick up Midsummer either on Blu-ray or get the digital version. Go ahead and let's talk about it in the comments. And in the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.